Welcome to Josh Blair's Money Minute, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by Josh Blair, your dedicated mortgage professional, a trusted mortgage provider for New Jersey home buyers. Now, here's your Money Minute. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to increase the resale value of your home using renovations. Renovating your home can be an effective way to increase its resale value. But not all renovations are created equal, and none are guaranteed to repay 100% of their cost. However, by renovating strategically, you can increase your selling price enough that a significant portion of the renovation costs are passed on to the future owner. The return on investment of any renovation is influenced by local market conditions and the quality and character of the work. Keep in mind that you're renovating to the buyer's taste, not your own. Find out which features and trends buyers are looking for in your area and avoid the temptation of improving the home beyond the average for your neighborhood. No matter how beautiful the result is, if it makes your home too expensive for your area, the return on investment will be low. Fortunately, there are long-term studies that can help you to decide which renovations will add the most resale value. For example, Realtor Magazine publishes an annual cost versus value report that compares common remodeling projects and shows the payback homeowners can expect. As you're about to see, they're all projects that buyers can immediately notice, as opposed to structural improvements like a new furnace or insulation. Here are the top 10 renovation projects ranked by average payback as a percentage of cost. Number 1. Wood Deck Addition, 80-85%. to 85%. Number two, siding replacement, 75 to 83%. Number three, minor kitchen remodeling, 75 to 83%. Number four, window replacement, 75 to 80%. Number five, bathroom remodeling, 70 to 78%. Number six, major kitchen remodeling, 70 to 78%. Number seven, attic bedroom remodeling, 65 to 76%. Number eight, basement remodeling, 65 to 75%. Number nine, two-story addition, 65 to 74%. And last but not least, number 10, garage addition, 60 to 70%. Another consideration is how soon you plan to sell. The more recent the renovation, the higher the return on investment. So it's best to have a clear idea of your medium-term plans before you decide to renovate. If you'd like to explore how renovating your home can help you pay for renovations without increasing your monthly payments, call us today. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Josh Blair's Money Minute. If you have any questions or comments, please call Josh today at 732-904-7856.